Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Cam. Now I'll start that over again. I didn't feel right. Hello people, my name is Cam. This is The Wayfaring Crow, uh, my channel which is going to explore Washington, the things I like, the things I find unique and special about this state. Um, I'm also going to be talking about things that are uh, 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 maybe unusual, uh, maybe different. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a whole lot, but to start off my channel I wanted to talk about just some really cool places I like to go to. So please enjoy, and uh, this is just my opinion. So. Take that with a grain of salt. Pike Place Market. Now, Pike Place Market is located in uh, downtown Seattle. The great thing about Pike Place is you have so much to see. There's so many vendors, so many stores, so many smells, different kinds of food, different kinds of flowers. They have produce, they have products, they have really cool iconic stores to check out, um, which is really fun. It's super entertaining just to walk around and be amongst the people, to hear the music, to see the fish toss and all these other great stuff. So if you've never been, I would definitely recommend it. And a lot of stores that have been there for a long, long time that are kind of anchored there. But you also have a lot of people that kind of switch out over the weeks. And that's pretty cool. So you can go and you can usually find something different every time. Now, granted, there are standard people that are there pretty much most of the time, but still, it always changes and they have new things that they're selling. And it's also supporting a lot of local businesses and a lot of local economy, which is really great and I like to do. It was made in 1907 and it's been here for a while. And you can see the change just recently, not too long ago. They kind of did a little facelift and um, they went ahead and completed the market front, which also added some more stores, kind of cleaned it up, there, cleaned up the area and made it a little more accessible for people. Uh, the, uh, next to the waterfront, you have all sorts of other attractions to check out. Uh, I'm gonna talk some more about Pike Place in a separate video because there's a lot to talk about and I don't really have enough time to tell you all right now. Um, so look forward to that one. I'm excited to talk about it and to share about the places I like to check out, food I like to eat, and the kind of stuff I like to try to get while I'm over there. Second is down in Chinatown, Wajamaya. Now, Wajamaya is an interesting history. It's uh, had multiple stores, but if you want to go get like authentic um, Asian ingredients from things from Japan, uh, that are Chinese, a lot of different kinds of things that you want to cook, it's a great place to go. They do festivals down there as well, which is really fun to check out. But the one place I would definitely recommend you is the bookstore. Now, the bookstore down there is really, really cool. My wife loves anime, loves manga, all of the above. I'm into it, but it definitely isn't exactly my passion. However, with that said, it's still fun to check out, and I would definitely recommend anyone for going. Now, it has manga, it has anime, it has dubbed, it has subtitled, it has straight, you know, Japanese, non-translated, all this stuff. It also has all sorts of cutesy things, too, if you're into that kind of stuff. You know, pencil boxes, school supplies, um, all sorts of stuff that you can find, magazines uh, that are from these uh, countries of the world. And that's pretty cool to check out. And even though I may not be an anime fan, I would definitely recommend it. And I always have fun uh, checking that location uh, and what they have to offer. In the bookstore, there's a second level and they sell a lot of collectibles as well as figurines. So if you're into DBZ and all those kinds of animes, I would check it out for sure. It's small, but it has a lot to give. The next up on our list is Dream Strands uh, Comics and more. Now, Dream Strands is very special to me. Uh, the 
store itself, I would say compared to others is not big and flashy, but that's not the thing that I love about it. The great thing about it is if you're looking for back issues, if you're looking for collectibles, if you're looking for like hero clicks and other kinds of bits and pieces for games, mats, um, big bulks of uh, graphic novels, that's a really good place to go. And the guy is really awesome, the owner. He's super respectful, he's super chill, he knows his stuff. I don't know everything, so I like to talk to him and get um, his recommendations. He also does a, like a mailing list or a, a, a list for customers who are um, have something in mind. He can look for them and he can bring them and save it for them for pickups, which is really nice. If you like games or RPGs, great place to find stuff. Um, it's a lot of games from you know two players to groups, from a little more mature to family friendly. You have a lot of things to choose from, and there's lots of shelves to check out the stuff that's going on. They also have different sections. They have uh, different uh, rooms for gaming. Um, they have a room for uh, uh, Warhammer, where you can see different sort of scenery and set design. They do uh, community events as well, so kind of like how tos as well as um, inviting people um, who might be interested in Starfinder or Pathfinder or other sort of role-playing games to come and have a meeting place to play these games. Now, next to it is Cafe Mox. Now, Cafe Mox has the food, has the dining, and you can get a, a thing of beer and you can get um, a nice meal as well as playing the games. And I think they have 17 beers on tap too. So if you're a beer guy and you like that kind of thing to drink, Definitely check it out, it's really good. You can play games with your friends, hang out. Um, you can pick them, the games are free, uh, which you just have to give an ID and pull out from the front. And then when you're done, you return them, play another game. If you're into Magic and Magic the Gathering and love playing the game, I myself don't know how to do it. I think it's really cool, but I'm intimidated. It's a great place to find individual cards, packs, booster packs. Um, any other kind of merchandise, playing mats, uh, all the above. The next stop on our list is uh, Arcane Comics and More. Now Arcane is another great store that I like and each of these stores I'm talking about have something special and something unique and a little different compared to the other ones. With Arcane, the thing that I love and I really enjoy about them is that they very much support the little guy. Uh, they support local artists, um, local storytellers, um, they really try to promote uh, uh, the non-traditional stories. They have uh, support for the LGBT um, community. It's really, really fantastic. They have staff picks of things they recommend. Now, yes, they have big titles too, but the nice thing about them is that they're not completely selling just the big titles. So if you're looking for something specific that's local, that might be something unusual and different for a read, I would talk to them because they have a lot of cool people that come in and I know they do events as well that support these local artists and storytellers. They also have a section for gaming so if you're into sort of board games or um, other kinds of games that you can play and it's uh, completely okay to come you can go and you can go to these events. It's family friendly, they have a lot of ton of artwork, they have collectibles, um, comic books, uh, back issues, as well as, you know, nice, really like um, good conditioned rare uh, rarity ones that are fun to look at. Funko Pops, all of the above. And they once again have recommendations from the staff, which I really enjoy and I think is really fun. So definitely check them out um, and support the local business. It's fantastic. The next one on our list is Around the Table. Now, Around the Table is really cool. It's a little smaller compared to the other ones but it's super busy. Now around the table, if you're looking for board games and a really family fun environment, I would check them out. They have many tables, so people can either buy games there and play them right from fresh from the box. They can bring um, other games that they're doing or RPGs and they can find a table if there's space available and they can do that. But if you're looking specifically for miniatures or role-playing games, they have a lot of unique and um, sometimes hard to find modules for things that I enjoy playing. Now. I know other places sell those, but the way they do it for me is a big difference. With the miniatures, they actually sell them out of the box, individual used. Now for me, I don't care if they're used, I just want to make sure they're not damaged.
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I appreciate uh, the sport. It is my first, so bear with me. But I hope I gave you an idea of the things that I like, that I find really cool, and that are local. And I encourage you to go check out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add their links to the places down below so you can see them. Uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, uh, follow me. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and be telling more videos about places and uh, things to check out. And uh, I'll be trying to do that um, every week to two weeks. So enjoy and thanks for watching. channel. My name is Scam. Please follow me.